Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go quickly through a example of the kind of question that we really struggled with on the math quiz yesterday. And that was the question where you were given a answer. Let's say the answer was maybe 10 remainder 6. And you had to create a word problem that was going to be... Um, you had to create a word problem that would give this answer. So another way of asking this would be, if 10 remainder 6 is the answer, what is the problem? So you have to work backwards a little bit on this one. You had to sort of consider, okay, well, we've got some sort of mystery number, and it's shared by another mystery number, and it's gonna give me an answer of 10 remainder six. So we have to do a little bit of backwards thinking here, and we also have to think about what we looked at before, about whether or not we ditch a remainder whether we change it to a decimal or we have it as a fraction. And it all kind of depends on what the context of the problem is. In this case, we are going to keep the decimal as, oh, we may ditch it, but we're, we're definitely not putting it as a decimal, sorry, the remainder. We're definitely going to put it as a fraction because you were given the answer 10 remainder 6. So it's got to be something where we've divided something. It's given us 10 whole parts, but we don't have enough to make another whole part. We don't have enough to make a, uh, an 11th whole part. So a good example of something that may not work, and this is what some students did, is they'd look at that and they'd say, okay, well, if I had 3 times 10, that would give me 30, and then I got that remainder of 6. So maybe I had 36 of something, and I divided it by 3, and it gave me 10, but there was 6 left over. And that's just incorrect, because 36 divided by 3 actually equals 11. So you do have to think about the context here. So better in this case would be, let's say for example, I had to make, I had 12, I, I wanted to make teams. I wanted to make teams of 12. Teams of 12 students. And I had 10 of them, 10 whole teams, but I had six left over. So that would be 10 of 12 kids, 10 times 12 is 120. And then I've got this remainder of six. It's gonna give me 126. So maybe I had, I wanted to make teams of 12 kids and I had 126 total kids. And so my, my math story here is how many teams can I make? So in this case, I've created a problem, created my word problem here, that is going to give me, once I figure that out, 126 divided by 12, that's going to give me, if we did the calculations there, that's going to give me 10, and I'm going to have a remainder of 6. Now I could take this remainder, and I could make that 6 twelfths, I could make my remainder 0.5. So my answer could be 10.5 or a mixed number of 10 and 6 twelfths. But neither one of those really makes sense because I'm not going to have 10 and a half teams in a league. And I'm not going to have 10 and 6 twelfth teams. I'm going to have 10 whole teams and then I'd have to figure out what to do with that 6. So in this case, I would be ditching the remainder. I would probably be making so many teams of 11 and a couple of teams, sorry, so many teams of 13 and a couple teams of 12. And it would be, if we look at my answer, six of my teams would have to have 11 players. So this is where you really gotta make sure that your answer makes sense. We're not gonna ditch the remainder in this case, but we do have to come up with some sort of word problem that's gonna give us the answer that you were provided with. Now let's look at a decimal one. Let's say I was given an answer of 10.5. So if 10.5 is the answer, what is the problem or what is the question? So again, I wanna look at that end number here and I wanna sort of figure, okay, well that end number could also be written as one half. 
So right off the bat, I'm thinking, okay, well, I, I, maybe I'm dividing something by two, but maybe I want to challenge myself, and maybe I want to say, okay, well, maybe it's three sixths, or maybe that's two quarter, two quarters. So there's a lot of different possibilities because all of these equal 0 0.5 if we convert them into a decimal. So let's let's use the two point or the the two two quarters or one half there. So I'm dividing something by five or something by four. So maybe I've got 42 donuts. Because donuts are yummy. Maybe I got 42 donuts. And I've got four students. And my students want to fairly share them. So my question then becomes how many donuts are each? student going to receive so in this case I got my 42 donuts I'm gonna divide that by 4 I can do this simple math in my head here because I know that 4 goes into 40 10 times I'm gonna have a remainder of 2 but what am I doing with that remainder? Well, I'm dividing it by four, just like everything else. So I have 10 and two quarters, or I have everybody would get 10.5 donuts. All right, now that you've seen my examples, try and do the corrections that you got on your quiz more recently.